In this video, we're going to create an in-cell progress bar in Microsoft Excel that is driven by checkboxes. So what you see here is a preview of what we're going to create today. I have a list of different projects in column B, and then in column C through F, I have checkboxes for four different phases of completion. In the last column, we have a progress bar that shows the percentage complete and it is driven by these checkboxes. So if I update these checkboxes to true or checked, you can see it updates automatically. So before we begin, you need to make sure that you have the developer ribbon up top here. If you don't see this ribbon, what you can do is go to file options customize ribbon and if this developer ribbon box here is not checked you just need to check it and click OK because this is where we're gonna go to insert a checkbox so I'm gonna go up to developer insert and then select this checkbox icon your cursor will change to a plus so I'm gonna click in the area I want this to appear I'm going to have to resize it, move it and resize it a little bit. Here I'm going to try and make it the same size as the cell. And it comes with generic text inside this box here. So I'm going to click in it so that my cursor appears. I'm going to hit the end key and then backspace because I don't want any text to appear. So now this checkbox is pretty much useless right now, so in a minute we'll see how to link it to a cell. But first, what I want to do is copy this checkbox to these other cells. So the easiest way to do this is to just click in the cell below it. I'm going to up arrow to select it. I'm going to hold down the shift key, hit the right arrow. I'm going to hit Control and R at the same time. That will copy that to the right. For some reason, it copies it to an extra cell here. So what I'm going to do is right click and then just click anywhere in the cell and hit Delete. So now with these cells still selected, I'm going to hold down the Shift key again and hit the down arrow and then once I have everything selected where I want it to copy down I'm gonna hit control D and that copies everything down so now what we want to do is link the checkbox to a cell because right now it's these are not linked to any cell so we want it to be linked to the cell that the checkbox is actually in so I'm gonna right click on this first one come down to format control this last ribbon should be the default display ribbon, but if it's not, select this last ribbon called Control. And under Cell Link, I'm going to type the cell reference of the cell that the checkbox is in. So that's C2. And you can see now it, that the checkbox is checked. It has a value of true. If I uncheck it, it has a value of false. So unfortunately, there's no way to copy relatively the linking of cells so you have to do that manually for each checkbox so I'm not gonna fill up the video with time doing that for each cell I'm just gonna do it on my own and fast forward to the next part of this video so once we have all of the cells linked to our checkboxes what I want to do is insert a formula here in column G that will perform a count if based on all of the true values in this row from C to F and then divide it by the total count of columns in this row. So we're going to insert the count if function. First input is the range. That's going to be C2 through F2 
and our criteria is going to be the word true. So we want to get a count of all the true values, which means the checkbox is selected. We're going to divide that by the total count, which this is going to be columns and then that same range because this will return the total count of columns in that range reference. So that gets us 50%. You can see this adjust based on the check boxes. So now we're ready to add our progress bar. So I'm going to select this range here. We're going to go up to conditional formatting. We're going to select new rule. This default option format all cells based on their values is what we want. So we want to keep that down here under format style. What we want to get is data bar. Now under this minimum and maximum values, what we want to do is change this to number on both. We want our minimum value to be zero, so this value is fine here. We want to change our maximum value to one because that's also the equivalent of 100%, which should be our highest value. Really, that's all there is. It's up to you what color you want it to be. I'm just going to select yellow here. Click OK. And you can see we have our bar that adjusts based on the check boxes. If you want to make this display or pop a little more, what you can do with these cells selected, we can add a background fill just so it shows up a little more. I don't know, maybe blue. Well, that is all for now. Thanks for watching. Please remember to subscribe.